everyone, welcome to Chemical Standard. Today I am going to discuss about oxygens of alcohol using PCC. So, what is PCC? Pyridine chlorochromate. PCC is pyridine chlorochromate. We can write the structure of PCC using the reading the name itself. Pyridine. This is pyridine. This is pyridine. Sorry, guys, the other point. Then chloro and chromate. This is the structure of PCC. Pyridinium chlorochromate. Why we use PCC over other oxidizing agents? Because the advantage of PCC over other oxidizing agents is it can oxidize a alcohol, a primary alcohol to an aldehyde and a secondary alcohol to a ketone. When we use other strong oxidizing agents like permanganate, a primary alcohol is first oxidized to an aldehyde. Then further oxidation takes place to a carboxylic acid. So when we use other strong oxidizing agents uh, like potassium permanganate, a carboxylic acid is formed. That's the final product. But if we want an aldehyde, then we can use PCC over other oxidizing agents. So a PCC oxidizes a primary alcohol to an aldehyde, a secondary alcohol to a ketone, and tertiary alcohol doesn't give reactions. So we can see the mechanism. Let's take a simple primary alcohol R C H two O H. This is a primary alcohol. Now C R double bond O double bond O O minus C L. This is the structure of PCC. A pyridine is there. Uh, now the lone pairs of oxygen is shifted to chromium and these two form a bond and naturally these electrons are shifted to oxygen R C H 2 O H C R double bond O O minus O minus and a C L now a proton transfer takes place this hydrogen is shifted to this side and form OH OH CH2 O CR double bond O OH O minus and the CL. Now what happens? CL is a best leaving group, so CL will leave uh, as CL minus R CH2 O. CR double bond O, OH and O minus. CL minus is left. Now, one of the hydrogen of CH2 is eliminated as H plus and combined with CL minus to form HCl. So, we can write this as H. This hydrogen is eliminated. And this bond electron, this bond's electrons is shifted to this side and this bond breaks. Now the product is RCH. Here a double bond, double bond O and this compound is eliminated. RCH double bond O is the final product. RCH double bond O is known as aldehyde. This is RCHO. Now, primary alcohol using PCC oxidized to aldehyde and a secondary alcohol. This is a secondary alcohol. OH. OH. This is a secondary alcohol. And when we oxidize this with PCC, a ketone is formed. Or 
double bond o this hydrogen and this hydrogen is eliminated and a double bond o is formed a ketone is formed when we oxidize a secondary alcohol using pcc let's move on to some examples so this is a alcohol alcohol which type of alcohol a primary alcohol a primary alcohol is converted to an aldehyde when treated with pcc so this oh is converted to cho and this double bond is not affected in this reaction other functional groups are not affected so CHO and second example this is a primary alcohol this carbon is attached to only one carbon so primary alcohol primary alcohol gives aldehyde CHO and aldehyde now third example it is an exceptional case this is a tertiary alcohol allylic tertiary alcohol allylic carbon means carbon attached to a double bonded carbon carbon attached to a double bonded carbon is known as allylic carbon so this is a allylic tertiary alcohol when allylic tertiary alcohol is treated with pcc it will give alpha beta unsaturated keto when allylic tertiary alcohol is treated with pcc it gives alpha beta unsaturated keto so what is alpha beta unsaturated keto alpha carbon in between alpha carbon and beta carbon there is a double bond that is alpha beta unsaturated compound now this oh is converted to keto now the reaction is the product is the toughest the oh is transposed to this side and the double bond is shifted to here so here a double bond takes place and here double bond of a keto the methane group is present here so this is the product alpha beta unsaturated keto this is alpha carbon and this is beta carbon there is a double bond in between so first you uh, shift the oh group to this side that is the carbon double bonded side then the bond is the double bond is shifted to the oh side so in this example a tertiary alcohol allylic alcohol uh, this is the double bond and this is tertiary oh so tertiary allylic alcohol is converted to alpha beta unsaturated keto this type of reaction is known as babler oxidation babler oxidation in babler oxidation allylic tertiary alcohol is converted to alpha beta unsaturated keto so product is now first you shift the double bond to oh side and then a double bond o is formed at the end of the uh, this carbon double bonded carbon first double bond is shifted to here and the oh was here and it is transferred to end of the double bonded carbon so this is alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta unsaturated ketone and this is also example of babler oxidation uh, this is a uh, tertiary alcohol and it is allylic tertiary alcohol it is converted to alpha beta unsaturated compound keto this double bond is shifted to keto and this oh this oh is shifted to end of the double bond carbon double bond o not oh double bond is formed at the end of the double bonded carbon now another type of uh, pcc reaction is active methylene group is oxidized so what is active methylene group a carbon which has a acetic proton 
So here the anti-methylene group is where this. This is the anti-methylene group. So anti-methylene group is oxidized to ketone. So this uh, carbon is uh, oxidized to ketone. This is the product. Anti-methylene group is uh, oxidized to ketone. So in this example, where is an anti-methylene group? Here. So this is oxidized to a uh, ketone. Double bond O. So a uh, anti-methylene group is oxidized to a ketone using PCC. Now this is uh, another type of reaction. Here the boron carbon boron bond is oxidized to uh, ketone. How the carbon boron formed here? BH3 THF. BH3 is BH2 plus and H minus. And using anti Markovnikov's rule, this addition is taking place. Here pH, uh, here H and B. Boron. Now what happens in adding PCC, this carbon boron bond is oxidized to ketone. So this carbon bond is oxidized to a ketone.